it's not an easy thing. I should not lie to you. It's a very, very, very hard thing to get also is that you are very lucky and there are people who have been denied to get the card for you know the whole year they're just stuck and then they decide to appeal because you can also appeal and then they get denied so it's just a very complicated situation so my advice is um for me i applied on my own like i just asked people and then i applied and collect the document and on the day when i went to the office i had some of mine um besides me who speaks his, his polish so he helped me with the procedures and some people prefer to take lawyers but then also you have to pay the lawyers to help you with everything so yeah you just if you are very uh, good with handling documents and going around and everything you can opt that option or you can also get a lawyer it, it is very easy especially if you don't have as much time so Going back to the previous question um, about procedures to apply for masters, um, with me is you can use agencies. I am sure even in like in Nigeria and anywhere because this guy was from Nigeria, there are also agencies. So for my case, I use an agent. Uh, if any of you, especially in Tanzania, who would like to get the contact of the agent who helped me with every procedure, uh, I'll be more than happy to leave the number to you. The procedure, if you're doing it alone, I, I know people who went on websites, so just go to websites, type in the Polish university that you want to. There are a lot of scientific um, universities because Poland is a very scientific, it has a very good scientific background. So doctors, a lot of um, universities just based for, for that and a lot of agricultural issues that is also, yeah, I have seen a lot of people and they take it very serious compared to, I would say, my country. Public universities and private universities. The public universities, a lot of them accommodate Polish students. So they have, you may find a lot of this, they have very fewer, oh my God, hi Jose. So decide whether you want to go to a public university, which in Poland, they are very, um, they are very accommodative of Polish and European students, and they have fewer, um, courses that are run uh, in, in, in English language and also um, they are also universities here of places in your mind to study someone asked places okay I, my quick um, idea there is Polytechnica University it's also one of the best university Warsaw is the leading university in Poland because it's the government and a very old university there's my university Vistula and I would say okay I'm gonna connect I'm going to connect um, questions if you're planning to study and work in Poland Warsaw is the good option uh, because Warsaw is the capital city and it has many opportunities it has a lot of international people so life also in Warsaw I would say is very is it easy because compared to okay in other cities also life is very nice but um, in terms of you know work opportunities careers and everything internship part-time full-time jobs why so is our best option which is the fees hi sirs welcome to the live um video <laughs> yeah so ideas of the university the fees that's kind of i i really i don't want to be as accurate because every university has their only like there are specific fees, but maybe um, I will give you the range and then you do your research. Um, between 3,000 and 500 euros to 5,000 euros. In Swahili, I know I have people in, in English. Iyo ni milioni nane. Milioni nane komwaka. Kwayo unalipa in semester. And wakunatu ambu unalipa in tri semesters. Like wanaomba kunaneliu kulipa kwa miongo ikatekatwe do unakua inakuwa na neliu, inakuwa raisi kwa wawo kuweza kulipa. Kwa hiyo, 3,000 euros to 5,000 euros in, in that range. Okay, so, another question, scholarship. This was one of the very much asked questions. People want to know how um, the scholarship thing is going. So, I personally, I, okay, I am partnering with this agency. It's a very famous agents very much relied on. It's called Nava, if you have seen that. I'm their digital ambassador um, because we were like we went through processes and they 
we won the position and then I am collaborating with them. So this Nava is working is working in collaboration of the Ministry of Education in Poland um, to help to give scholarships for students from different countries, different continents. So it has a lot of scholarships that I am going to leave their Instagram page ready go study Poland and then you will be able to see their you'll be able to see their 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 website just go to their website they have scholarships for different categories especially scientific um, scholarships and also other sources of scholarships that I know so for me my number one uh, advice would be to go to this NAVA because I have seen quite a couple of scholarships and also for Africans the African scholarship is called Lukashevsky so when you go to their website go directly to Lukashevsky uh, scholarship and just make a follow-up about that and also you can also go to the Polish embassy in your country so for my uh, for people in Tanzania go to is it Osterbay, Masaki? Um, they also have scholarships specifically in collaboration with the government. And also, yeah, the, some people get scholarships from the government. And specifically, also what I've seen, what is happening, most of the students who are coming to Poland, they pay their fees for their first year. And then what happens is in every university, they have their own scholarships. So when you just have your two semesters, then you are reliable to apply for other scholarships that are there. If you don't get a scholarship, you have an option to, to work. I have an option to work, so you can work and still be able to pay for your scholarship, I mean for your school fees, like for one semester and then you work for another semester. It's time to apply for universities is in October. Uh, in October every year. The another way, another best time to apply is on February. So that is so February and October is the answer. Value of scholarship. I don't have a very accurate answer when it comes to you know the value because they also differ. There are scholarships that are giving you just the stipends, the life I mean, to cover your life daily life expenses. And there are scholarships that are paying for your school fees. They don't give that in your pocket. They pay directly at the university. And there are scholarships that are emergent scholarship. So as I said, go to the universities. Go to, a, to Google. Just type in universities in Poland. You'll see Waso, Politecnica, Vistula. Just click on that particular um, university and then they'll take you to the website and you'll be able to see more information that relates to just that university. Hi Lillian, how are you? <laughs> yeah, do, do they provide loan for Polish students? Yeah, so I also got that question. Um, they said someone wants to, okay, in Poland, student get loan. Okay. Poland, Polish education is free for Polish people, Polish citizens. So they just start for free. They don't pay anything at all. So they, you, I don't know, they're not very serious. I, yeah, but foreigners, we are paying school fees. We are paying like life expenses. So, and there are agencies I had that are just giving loans for people, but then you, the interest should be very, this is very interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, maybe I'm going to continue doing this. A friend of mine from Nigeria who wanted to join today but I thought I didn't didn't prepare you guys like to have people two people um, explaining this. So maybe if this is going to be a success, I'm also going to do another one with um, inviting other people, which I think it's going to be even more information, not just me giving you what I know. So yeah, so there are agencies that are giving you information. I mean loan, and you have to pay that loan doubled up. So you decide. So. I'm not very sure if the loan that is given to Polish people and students and Tanzanian, I mean, African foreigner students is the same, but uh, I surely know they are things like this. Okay, so other, someone asked also, how is it when it comes to working in Poland and still studying? Um, my experience with working here, 
uh, is that there are so many organizations that are allowing like there's a lot of student friendly jobs the easy soft jobs not very serious ones but the pay i would say is also satisfactory because it helps you cover your um expenses so there are university i mean works that are very flexible in such a way that um they just work with students because that way you're able to put your schedule whenever you have classes you will just be focusing on school and also whenever you have work you have to go to work but then this um most of these jobs they make students work at night so you have a, a lot of evening shifts and during the day either you sleep or you are attending school and then there are work uh, jobs that um very like full time they want your full time commitment and you see yourself how you're going to sort with university so i would say working in poland is very flexible and the pay uh i'm, I'm gonna come to that question um um hi kanta what okay and, and then the pay is very is very like uh, satisfactory as compared to many a lot of um uh, my country experience a, a lot of people working after they graduate i would say their salary is if the job is not very like very good um the salary here in poland is even the average salary here is higher as compared to the average salary in my country so yeah it, it makes sense to work and you will be able to 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 do something with the money that you're getting and uh criteria they don't really ma it doesn't really matter because um they are aware that you're studying so you just have to have a little experience or even no experience okay i'm, I'm i don't want to miss the questions what is the range amount of spends do scholarship usually offer there uh maggie i think um two thousand what i have seen a lot saying three thousand what three thousand what that is equivalent to so three thousand times six hundred and fifty and it come on million in gapi margaret million you inside here million tatu million mbili million moja okay from one million to like three two million i'm not very sure i'm going to write that privately when i i am mostly dedicated for foreigners so the business opportunity if i look into the business eye that i'm seeing here is in this shop very well organized that is selling um foreigners products especially africans like if it's women hair um if it's like fabrics african fabrics um if it's food we have like imagine only in waso we have only two african shops that are selling any rasta mtu anakuuzia rasta f imagine f and any very pricey and they are very far and they are not they're very like not organized so that that is one of the the, the business opportunities that i see here selling african stuff african products and also tourism if you really because polish people and very you know closed most of them and they have the very like a lot of old people who have been in poland for many for many years so they have not been outside and many people want to travel and they have money to travel but they don't know how to do that they only know tanzania but they know zanzibar so because truly you are like in tanzania the um a business opportunity for you that i see is this agents that is taking people and telling people about Africa and help them to travel to Africa. There's only two that I know so far, Itaka and another one I've forgotten. Itaka. So that Itaka is one of the famous. Okay, ask again. Asante, okay. Sorry I missed the Okay. What if I want I want to share with a friend or something but outside the university? Yeah, you can do that. Definitely. What the fun 2020. You're welcome. Yeah. Um um you can do that there are people what people do here is they rent a house like a full house maybe that has three bedrooms and it has a kitchen and a shared living room and then they collect the money together and they pay that money in a lump sum to the landlord so you have that opportunity to do as 